Hey YouTube, today we're looking at how to change Bricktown from these old road plates to these new road plates. Hey everyone and welcome to Brick Talk TV, hope you're well. In today's episode we're continuing our series of the rebuild of Bricktown and today we're looking at new road plates. If you missed our first episode in this series then do check out this link top right and I'll put a link in the description below. At the end of our last episode, we completely dismantled Bricktown, and so in today's episode, we're kicking off the rebuild. Do also remember to hit that like button so more people find this video, and hit that subscribe button to join our ever-growing LEGO community. Here today, you can see we've got a fresh shipment from all the way from Bricklink of nearly 100 new road plates, and in the episode, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the road plates themselves, and then taking a look at how we're gonna lay them out on our freshly emptied tables. Taking a look at the classic road plates, which we've used to cover all the city previously, you can also see they take the form of a 32 by 32 base plate. Of the 32 studs available, you can see we have six studs either side of the road are available for sidewalks and for paving. So for 12 studs off of the 32, that actually leaves us with only 20 studs width for the road in the middle. Looking at the new road plates here, you can see they're much smaller than we had before. We have this plain looking dark bluish grey element now, which actually measures 16 by 16 studs in width and length. Around the edge as you can see here, we have four studs all the way around, which is how we connect this road element to other road elements, or indeed to customised sidewalks and other street decorations such as curbs or laybys. If you stick this new element on a traditional base plate, you can also get a feel for the reduction in size, and the new plate fits into the old road as you can see here, and it takes two connected new road plates to replicate the single road plate of old. With these new plates only being 16 studs wide, we now have a gap of eight studs either side for you in which to build sidewalks and other details. This of course does mean that the roads are much narrower than previous versions. If you add curbs to that, you might even end up with just a 14 stud width road. Here you can see how the roads are connected using a standard 2x4 tile in dark bluish grey and again you have more 2x4 studs exposed in the road element itself. A centre one here where you can put a road mark. Also going horizontally across the roads you can either fill these with more grey tiles or perhaps you can add speed humps to the road. The new road plate is left plain on purpose so you have much more power to customise the road itself including the ability to put printed tiles in the middle to depict the centre line. This customisation of course does mean that you have other possibilities with the road elements that maybe you didn't get with traditional plates. You may have more flexibility around having things such as multi-lane roads or even building freeways or motorways. So before we start laying the new road plates, let's check back to studio and check our mock-up where we can see what sort of design we're aiming to do with the layout in these new road plates. So Bricktown is really going to have three main loops. We already had two loops in the old road layouts, but we'll also introduce a new smaller loop here at the bottom because we've added a new table to the town. Here you can see the middle loop that will connect to the two other loops at the top near the level crossings and at the bottom here some with the new junction. Moving to the top loop, you can see that we have quite a large loop which also includes some type of cycle lane which will eventually go all the way round and we'll also have a pelican crossing for the minifigures so that they can get over the road safely. In this episode, we're gonna concentrate on placing the almost 100 road plates into position to test out the plan we have here. We may also need to adapt it based on the reality of the tables and the space that we have, but it should be a good guide to get us going. We won't be doing any paving on the sidewalks or any details around the crossings today. This will come late in later episodes. Today is all about simply laying the road plates into position. So with that in mind, let's flip over to the Lego room and let's get our layout of the new road plates going. <laughs>
let's take a look at our handiwork. We've laid all the road plates now, including some of the junctions. We've got the far loop constructed now that feeds down into this middle loop, and then the junction here leads us to the third and final loop, which is new for this city layout. As you move up the loops, you can also see the level crossings that connect the two main loops. If you look at the level crossings, you can see that we have a misalignment in our road plates, and that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So we'll be converting these old level crossings into working with the new road plates, and then we're going to connect the two loops together and work out if we need to do some repositioning and some reconfigurations of the roads themselves. Do remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so others get to see the episode and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification turned on to be notified about future videos in this series and come and join me next time as we build out our level crossing with the new road plates and start to get Bricktown back to normal. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then.